Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel today, and if you're new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be different from what I normally post. I decided to make this video because for the new year, I went to the beach to cleanse my aura, clear my mind, ground myself with the sand, the ocean, and the salt air, and while I was there, I decided to clear or cleanse some of my most recent card decks. One of the ways I did this was by using the nature element of the beach to clear my cards. So I thought I would show you my seven ways to clear or cleanse your card decks. I'm going to let you, the subscribers, decide where to take this channel. If you like this video or want to see me expand this channel by posting content like this, maybe readings or more how-to videos, let me know and I will make more content like that. If you just like the deck reviews, let me know that as well so I can plan videos that you will enjoy. Okay, let's get started. My top seven ways to clear or cleanse your oracle decks. Let's start with the most basic and easiest way to clear your oracle deck, and that's using the sun. You can place your cards in direct sunlight to dissipate any negative energy that are associated with your cards and infuse them with the energy and light from the sun. If I'm using this method, I generally leave my cards out for a good majority of the day, starting at sunrise until sunset. Now, speaking of sunset, another way to clear your cards that follows along with that same philosophy is using the moonlight. Again, place the cards in direct moonlight to purify them with the energy and light of the moon. When using this method, I like to leave my cards out overnight, and I try to do it on an evening where there is a full, bright moon and a clear sky. Okay, the next method is using crystals. Now the best crystals for clearing your deck, in my opinion, would be clear quartz, which have a purification and clearing property to them. Also black tourmaline, which absorbs and disperses negative energy. And lastly, I would use amethyst, which converts lower vibration to a higher frequency. So if you're gonna use crystals, I would take one of those crystals, place it on top of your deck, and leave it there for one to two days. Placing your card decks inside a cleansing bowl or a singing bowl is a way to infuse positive energy into the deck. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. One way is to take the wooden mallet and tap the side of the bowl to emanate the sound of the bowl, which will in turn infuse that energy into the cards. And then the other way you could do it would be to use the wooden mallet to circle the bowl, which produces a frequency that again will infuse the cards with positive energy. Okay, this next method is a little risky. Um, you could risk damaging your cards, um, but I do know that some people use this method and I have used it myself in some circumstances, and that is to use salt as a purifier. You would use this method by dusting your cards with salt or wrapping them in a Ziploc bag and surrounding that Ziploc bag with salt in a bowl. Um, but since salt does absorb moisture, like I said, you can risk damaging your cards in some circumstances. So when trying this method, I would just advise you to use caution. Okay, now we're going to get into my top three favorite ways to clear your oracle deck and probably the three methods that I use most often. And the first one is nature. And this can be the ocean, the sun, the outdoors, um, being next to a waterfall, sitting under a tree, spending time in the garden, spending time at the beach, anything that has to do with nature and the vibrations of the outdoors will infuse your cards with this positive energy. 
along those same lines of using nature as a clearing method. You can use flower petals to surround your cards, cover your cards with the flower petals, and this again is another aspect of using nature to infuse positive energy into your cards. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I did go to the beach and you can see how I used nature as a clearing aspect for my cards. I spread my card decks out on a blanket in the salt air. I covered them with sand from the beach. I also used some salt that I brought with me down to the beach and you can see on my gateway of light activation card. I have placed a quartz crystal on top of that deck. So this just goes to show that you can certainly use more than one method to clear your cards or you can just stick to one that's your most favorite but this is the process that inspired me to make this video for you. Next up, this is the way that I use most often when I'm not using nature, and that is to sage my cards. Now, saging is the process of clarifying and purifying with the smoke from the sage herbs. You can use the sage stick like I have here, which I got from Amazon. I will leave the link down below. It comes with this feather to help you disperse the smoke underneath the cards. I like to place my cards on one of these elevated shelves so that the smoke can go all the way around underneath and through the holes and really cover all of the cards. I like to use my own feathers. This one I found on the beach. So when I find them in nature, again, it's amplifying the effect. I feel like I'm using something from the earth and from the universe. If you don't have a sage stick or you are not interested in burning a sage stick, another method you could use is organic sage essential oil. I have this little diffuser here. It's very easy to use. It has a red indicator inside that shows where you fill the water to and then you'll just put in a couple of drops of your organic pure sage essential oil and then just push the power button to produce the smoke. One of the reasons I love using this diffuser so much is because it is powered by a USB connection so I can take this and plug it into a power bank, one of those portable power banks, and I can diffuse my cards anywhere. I can take them outside with me. I can take them into another room that doesn't have an outlet nearby. But if you don't want the USB connection, you can always use a plug adapter. You can set the diffuser right underneath the cards if you have one of these elevated shelves and just let the smoke linger around the cards and purify them that way. But probably my go-to method for using the diffuser is to actually purify the cards one by one. I like to take each card and hold it over the top of the diffuser where the smoke is coming out and just let the smoke cover the entire card on each side, front and back. And while I'm diffusing each card, I like to pray or meditate over my cards so I can really set the intentions with them. And that's the last method that I'm going to go over with you. This clearing method involves praying or meditating over our cards. We can hold them while we're praying or meditating, which will infuse that energy into the cards. You can also tap the cards. Tapping the cards will release any negative or stagnant energy that is stuck to the deck. I like to hold mine in my non-dominant left hand and then use my dominant right hand to strike the cards, releasing the negative energy. I always pray over my cards and ask for the highest, purest, and most accurate information. I like to set my intentions for my cards and for the readings that I will be providing with those cards.
Okay, there you have it. Those are my favorite ways to clear my Oracle decks. And like I said before, leave a comment below and let me know if you want more of this type of information and content, or if you want me to just stick to reviewing the card decks. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.